All right, folks, we got another uh, video. Again, this is on my little VW truck. <clears throat> I went on a long trip on this truck and I came back and the antifreeze jug was empty. Uh, next time I went to use it, I, ch I checked the engine oil and belts and such and it was empty. Well, I got a lot of miles in this motor and that's never happened before. So I thought, well, I didn't think. I already knew what I had. I had a head gasket letting go. It was leaking up here on the corner out the edge here. So I thought I'd go ahead and replace the head gasket. The head gasket's 35 bucks. Set of bolts is 40 bucks. Yeah, a couple, uh, eight hours of labor. It's no big deal. So I pulled the head off and I get to looking. And it'll show up here, I think, all right. It's cracked between the pre-combustion uh, pre chamber insert and the intake valve. And not only that, it's cracked between the valves on this one, between the valves on this one, uh, between the valves on this one. So my machine guy, oh, it's cracked on this insert going towards this intake valve, too. So... My machine guy, super, super folks, they have finally retired. So they've closed their shop up, so Kansas City no longer has a VW shop. So God bless them. They did good for many years. So with no way to repair this head, and I don't know if there is any way to repair it or not. You'd have to grind them out, and weld it up, and then remachine it. It'd probably be a lot of money. I don't know. So... The next thing, I contacted Parts Place out of Michigan, and they sent me a new head, uh, 800 bucks. So I reused the injectors, and I reused everything on the outside, glow plugs, because this thing was all running good. It's a high mileage motor, but it was all running just fine. So I cleaned all that stuff up and put this together. Now that new head's 800 bucks, and then I had to clean up the engine and get it all ready to go I'm just about ready to set the uh, gasket and the head on the block I want to make a little video of what happens and where do these cracks come from what makes a head crack now I know that this is an aluminum head and it's sitting on a cast iron block okay now, the, the rates of coefficient of expansion and contraction between cast iron and aluminum are completely different. So, no matter how tightly you put this on here, it's going to wear out the head gasket. I got that. All right. So, a head gasket on this kind of an engine, lightweight diesel, aluminum head, it's, it's a wear item. It's got to be replaced. I got that. But why this is? Why are these cracks in here? Well... It's my fault. I think I'm convinced this is my fault. I've, I've had, in fact, I've overhauled this engine before. And uh, I always have a habit, I had a habit until recently. When I start these motors up, even in summertime, I get out of the vehicle, walk back in the house, get a cup of coffee, play with the wife and kid, dog, whatever. What I don't do is start them up and just put them in gear and drive them. Because that puts an awful lot of load on, uh, you know, on, on this aluminum head that it really doesn't need to have. It, and it doesn't. It's, this thing should warm up long before you, uh, before you go put it on the road. And this new house I live in, it, uh, it's right within a two minutes of the interstate. So when I start stuff up now, I'm not driving it on city streets. I drive it down my driveway, down one street, and on the highway. So uh, there's a lot less, a lot more stress on these than there ever was before. Uh, I typically cruise this vehicle. I know you're gonna think this is nuts for this little motor, but this truck, believe it or not, is not shy of running 80 to 85 mile an hour. And with the traffic I got on the interstate, that's where it runs. So what I'm telling you is, this is my fault. 
I was not warming up the engine the way I know I'm supposed to. And now I got a cracked head and $900 worth of parts and eight hours of my labor because I was too impatient to warm these motors up. Now, if most guys drive fuel injected gas motors nowadays, they don't have this problem. They get, most of them are designed for that. This little motor is not. So, needless to say, I'm going back to my original practice of letting these motors warm up. That is unacceptable. Now you think, well, a crack, well, how bad can it be? Well, the crack itself is not the problem. Uh, believe it or not, when the head warms up, this crack will not leak, most likely. The problem is, this crack is releasing this insert. And it's it has happened, and it I've got the worst luck in the world, so it would happen to me, probably. This insert will release and land in the cylinder. And when it does, it'll trash the head, and most likely trash the motor. So, me not warming up my my uh, little truck might have cost me an engine. Now, I've got spare engines, but that's not the point. The point is why I ruin a perfectly good motor is you're too stupid to warm up your engine. So, anyway, glorious, ain't it? Hey, you know, 900 bucks, you, you too can have a brand new head. There's no point in buying a used head because this head probably would not be any good for a core. They have a a used a, a rebuilt head that you can buy that's probably good but you have to trade in a core to get that and when you trade in this core this core is probably not worth any money so i would i would wind up paying just about the same price for a new one so i just went ahead and brought it by a new one now you're thinking well this head was made in 1981 and this head made in 2018 it was made in the same exact factory that this was made in in brazil uh, so I don't expect any problems with it. It could be the this kid's this guy who built this head. It could be his kid built this head. So I have no idea. So anyway, so that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just about to set this in here, and we'll see uh, how this is going to go. But I don't know. Anyway, this is Ozark Patriot. I'm going to get busy and get this finished up. Get this little vehicle back on the road. The bottom line is, if you got one of these, warm it up, man. All these diesels are the same. The Ford IDIs, Cummins, the 4BT and 6BT, uh, all these indirect injection diesels. If you have a mechanical pump uh, and pre-combustion chambers, all of this applies to you because these, these will all crack in the same place. I don't care who builds these. They're all the same, so... Uh, the earliest diesels, like the big over-the-road trucks, the heads were cast iron and the block was cast iron and guys would not turn them off. If you're my age, you can remember truckers idling engines all night, every night. They rarely turned them off except for service. Well, we don't do that anymore. We shut them down now. So Anyway, this is Ozark Patriots. I'm out of here.